And here we go. It's Dalek Attack. Let's get right into it. There we go. Uh, running through the time vortex. Or more likely, it's, uh, it's just a loading screen. That's just data flying by in the Commodore 64. Okay, and we start out in the sewer. There's good old 7th Doctor Sylvester McCoy. And his trusty companion Ace, who uh, we can't control because there's no one else here. So uh, here we go. The Doctor and his uh, flying machine. Uh, now I set it on easy, uh, so we only have to pick up one prisoner. So I'm not going to pick that guy up. Just so we can show you a little more of the game. Obviously, uh, at this time, there was no Doctor Who to go around in 1992. Uh, there wouldn't be the TV movie uh, for a couple more years, and then the revival in the uh, early mid 2000s. Uh, so this was this was kind of all you had at the time. That and that awful uh, Dimensions in Time uh, crossover with EastEnders. But we're not going to talk about that. Uh, so, as you can see here, we're shooting creatures. Uh, no Daleks yet. But let me pick this guy up. And then maybe, we, uh, maybe we'll see some Daleks in the next level. Okay, good old London. There's Ace. Let me shoot Ace in the face. Oh, there's a Dalek. Also an Ice Warrior, I believe. There's a... What's that? Can I get that? Oop. Nope. Can't get it. Or at least I don't know the control to get it. Uh, so we're shooting this Dalek with, of course... <laughs> Uh, the Doctor, uh, known far and wide for his use of a handgun. Look at that. That's a handgun. That I mean, I know it's probably supposed to be a sonic screwdriver, which rarely uh, shoots things uh, in that fashion to begin with. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and assume you can't uh, kill the Daleks in this. Maybe you can. I'm not going to find out. Uh, let me jump up here. Whoop! Okay. Does that respawn? Let's find out. No, that's not good. Can I jump up there? Nope, can I climb up this? Ah, there we go. Now you're on the trolley. Uh-oh. Oop. Okay, so I just went in that room, now it's it's showing Ace. Okay, good, I can cut back to the Doctor. Okay, now the fact that this Dalek is in front of a prisoner makes me believe I can kill him. If you can see my, uh, my life in the bottom left corner quickly draining, which is why I gave myself infinite lives, I want to see how long it actually takes to kill this guy. Ah, screw it. <laughs> that was, uh... That was a fool's errand to think I could kill that Dalek. There's gotta be some way, right? I'm sure there's something I'm just not... I'm just not getting. Ah, uh, we go to Gay Paris. There we go, there's Ace again. Standing around uh, gormlessly. There's uh, Sylvester McCoy. Jumping a Oh, that's actually... You know what? That's kind of nifty. I kind of like that. <laughs> I like that he can grab on and, and jump up things like that. And jump down and... Oh, looks like I have to go off. That's a barrier. Jump mechanic not great, but suitable enough for right now. And that was easy enough. Guy was just waiting, waiting right there, right above my head the entire time. So we fly through space. We end up in New York. 
Doc, you're coming to my corner of the world now. There we go. Boom. Uh, there's these things. I don't know what these things are. I'm going to assume they're some kind of Dalek technology. Can I kill that? Oh, I can. Can I kill this stuff? No, I'm not even going to try. I'm going to go in this building. And of course, it throws me back to Ace for some reason. So now I'm in a empty office building. Uh, it's taking me to a door I can't go in. I don't even know if that's a door. So I go in that room. I switch back out again. Can I use this computer? Is this a thing? Nope. Now I'm outside, and uh, it doesn't follow me off screen. That's, uh. That's great. Okay, what if I go up? Nope, there's something there that's hurting me or gave me invincibility. Now I'm gone. Oh boy. Uh. That's. This is. I... I don't like where this is going. <laughs> okay, I'm out again. I'm going... I'm going to see how far I could run. If I run back... I'm down here... What if I... Run there... Run back, now I'm down here. If I go to the left, no. Oh boy, this is, uh... This is not fun right now. <laughs> okay, so I tried going in there. That took me out. Oh, this is not good. Now, if you notice, there's arrows on the screen. That tell me which way to go. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna be right back. And we're back. Okay. So I figured out what was going on. Uh, basically, I had to... When you hit the space bar, that lets you cut back from Ace to the Doctor. When I got outside again to that area, uh, I had to cut back to the Doctor once more. Just like this. So now I'm in the subway. As the uh, Doctors want to do. Uh, <laughs> fighting Ice Warriors and such. Those are those are the things from RoboCop. The little the little things. Or the well, I guess it was big in RoboCop, but ah, come on. Whoa, what are those? Okay, so I guess that makes me invincible, despite the fact that I already am. Oh no, it gives me uh. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that is a gun. There's no way. Something of that force is coming out of the sonic screwdriver. Though I'm probably wrong. Okay, so as we fly through the time vortex... believe we're going to Tokyo right now. Yep, there we go. Tokyo, no surprise, looks a lot like all the other levels. Okay, so the jumping, if you're not familiar with the control scheme here, it's... I know, I just passed that prisoner. Is you have to press up to jump. So it's a little finicky. Come on. Okay, so it's not letting me up there. And apparently I legitimately just died doing that. So you can uh, take... Pretty big fall damage. 
You know what? I don't know why I keep trying to kill those. I'm not gonna... It, it hasn't worked before. I don't know why it would work now. That guy I could kill. Let me kill him before I get a prisoner. Come on. Ah, oh, whatever. You're safe. <laughs> You're safe with me now. Despite the fact that I just shot right in your direction and destroyed you anyway. Now, uh, now I don't know where it takes you. Ooh, going right to the Dalek home planet of Skaro, and then uh, jumping right into those spikes. Apparently, can I? Ooh. See, that's kind of see again. That's kind of nifty. That's smart. I like that. That there's this sort of what's in there? Why is that flashing? Okay, it's not flashing for any reason. The fact that you can grab onto girders and uh, climb across and then jump up, I, I, that's really nice. Uh, that was not so nice. Why? Okay. Okay, so the platform only comes out that far. You know what, let's get this guy. What's next? Who do I fight? Yeah, I'm on. Held. Oh, okay. Well done. I don't know why. I'm an idiot. I thought that said hell done for a second. Like, why? Why, why is hell done? All right. Well, I guess we. Uh, I guess we completed the game. We have foiled your evil plan. The Time Lords will ensure you never threaten the universe again. There is, of course, uh, Davros, the creator of the Daleks, and good old Sylvester McCoy, looking. Uh, <laughs> You know, very droopy there. <laughs> <It> looks <laughs> this very droopy, smug face. Then yes, yes, I'm very pleased with myself. I'm very pleased with that. So thank you for uh, sticking around and checking out Doctor Who Dalek Attack. And uh, apparently, there's no way for me to get off the screen, so uh, I'm just gonna walk away now.